Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. While addressing a conclave organized to celebrate 60 years of Cheetak helicopter service to the nation, Sri Rajnath Singh called to fast track design and development of 10 ton Indian multi role helicopter. This is also a reminder for our inefficient defense procurement because of which we are celebrating the diamond jubilee of Chetak helicopter which should have been retired years ago. Nearly 700 Chetaks have been manufactured so far which has served the nation in war and peace with full dedication describing its multi-service employment as a shining example of jointness. Chetak has proved its mettle in the battlefield by targeting enemies with accuracy and successful landing troops. It has saved precious lives through its evacuation efforts in case of emergency. It has provided important information whenever needed which has helped in decision making and paving the way for victory in wars. Chetak has always been at the forefront in providing humanitarian aid and disaster relief during natural calamities. This is the first time a platform has reached this stage. Sri Rajna Singh has also stressed on the need to march forward in the design and development of 10 ton Indian multi role helicopter, which he said is a significant requirement for armed forces and has a huge market potential. He called to fast track the design and development of helicopter technology in the country, terming it as one of the dual use technologies which will not only prove to be effective in defense sector but will make India a dominant force in helicopter market. According to an estimate, there is a demand for more than 1000 civilian helicopters in the country and an equal number of helicopters in the defense sector. We need to exploit this huge potential in helicopter market. In addition, we need to make efforts to strengthen India's claim in the rotary wing domain. The IMRH is being designed to perform versatile roles and operations which would include support air assault, air transport, VIP transport, combat logistics, for example, troop transport, combat search and rescue, and casualty evacuation operations. IMRH is going to be a twin engine, multi role, multi mission, 13 ton weight class of medium lift helicopter. It is being designed to replace the MI-17 helicopter of Indian Air Force and will be better than it in many aspects. Considering the requirement of our armed forces, it is estimated that Indian Air Force, Army and Navy will procure 200, 100 and 14 IMRH helicopters respectively. Considering the above numbers of helicopter requirement, the overall cost is going to be $20 billion for a total of 314 IMRH helicopters and additional $11 billion for maintenance, repair and overhaul. The helicopter will be developed in collaboration with private players with minimum 50% indigenous component. Now as we have reported earlier, MK and IMRH helicopters are going to be designed, developed and produced under SPV or Special Purpose Vehicle Model involving private players and they will have majority of stake. The idea behind giving majority stake to private players is to speed up the procurement process and cut down the unwanted red tape diplomacy and process which we have in our PSU's procurement process and thereby reduce the cost as well. HL and Safran are collaborating on developing an engine that can power IMRH class of helicopters. The new helicopter engine will be developed under a strategic partnership route which will involve transfer of technology to HL for its manufacturing. Talking about IMRH, it is going to be equipped with a smart cockpit, composite and modular airframe, crash-worthy tricycle landing gear, 4-axis automatic flight control, state-of-art mission systems, advanced avionic systems, a service ceiling of 6.5 km range of 800 km, endurance of 3 hours, 
payload of 4000 kg and maximum cruising speed of 270 km per hour. IMRH is going to be 25.16 meter long and height of 2.41 meter and width of 4.74 meters. It will be the most spacious helicopter in its category with troop carrying capacity of 24 to 36. It is designed to operate in extreme weather conditions and high altitudes. It will have five foldable blades in the main rotor made up of composite material. The tail will have four rotor blades. The IMRH will have four hard points where it can carry four anti-tank guided missiles and each hard point can carry a payload of up to 300 kgs. It can also carry 500 kgs of payload on the hard point near fuselage. In total, it will have weapon payload capacity of 1600 kgs and overall payload capacity of 4000 kgs. At an altitude of 4.5 kilometers, it can carry payload of 1000 kgs which will be best in its class. It will also be equipped with electronic warfare suite and self-protection jammer. The main frame of IMRH will be mostly built up of composite material keeping it light and stealthy in design. The airframe has been designed in a modular fashion which will aid in the faster production and the assembly of the helicopter. The IMRH cockpit will have a full glass smart cockpit with artificial intelligence enabled and wide area multifunctional display. The helicopter will feature twin engine with a dual channel FADEC and 2000 kW power. It will also have an APU with battery for redundancy in case of engine failure. The digital design and the wind tunnel test of the helicopter and its component is complete. The design of IMRH for Army and Air Force was planned to be frozen by last year but yet there is no official confirmation on that. The naval variant is going to be bigger than that of Army and Air Force and hence its design is expected to be frozen by this year. The structural test of the unarmed version of IMRH is planned to be conducted in 2023 followed by its first flight in 2024. The armed version of IMRH will undergo the structural testing by 2025. HL has planned to produce three to four flying prototypes of IMRH. The new helicopter is expected to enter into production by 2028 or 2029. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.